I'm Shelly at Subaru of Puyallup, located in downtown Puyallup off of River Road. I'm excited to introduce you to the new 2014 Subaru Legacy. I'm going to give you a really good detailed video, talk about some of the improvements that I've made since the 13s, and just give you a better idea about the trim models. So the Legacy comes with two engines. It has the 2.5 or the 3.6. The 2.5 gets up to 32 highway miles per gallon at 173 horsepower. One of the improvements they did for the 2014 is the second generation CVT transmission, which is the continuously variable transmission. It's a little bit smoother, a little bit quieter. They also have added two new colors to the lineup. It's the tungsten metallic and the carbite gray, which replaces the dark gray. This one right here is an ice silver metallic. This is the limited trim level. So in the 2.5s, you have the choice of a base, a premium, a sport, or the limited. And then the 3.6, you have the limited. So we'll go over some of the differences. One of them is um, the wheels. This being a limited has the 17 inch alloys. The bases have the 16 aluminum, and the sports actually have a dark gray finish, and they're 18 inch. Some of the trim levels come standard with fog lights. Um, one of the other differences, the bases have black side mirrors. But most of the differences are going to come inside. Okay, just to go over some of the interior differences in the other models. This being a limited, the biggest difference is going to be leather versus all the other ones have cloth. Um, the limiteds only come with the CVT. The man, um, premiums also, the bases come, you have a manual or a premium option. Um, you do have some other options that aren't standard, such as the moonroof, the rear vision camera, auto dimming mirror and compass is a really nice feature that a lot of people like. And something new this year um, is that you can get the EyeSight driver's assist in the lower trim levels. This one doesn't have it, but if it did, it would have two cameras up here, and it's a safety feature. Um, if you change lanes and you didn't mean to, it's going to alert you. If you're stopped at a stoplight and you're busy texting or talking, um, if the car in front of you goes, it's going to alert you. Also, if there's a hazard stopped in front of you, it will actually stop the car. So and there's a lot of features to that. Um, standard in all the models is the Bluetooth, cruise control, which is really nice. In the Limited, you have the dual climate control, so if your passenger likes it hot or cold and you don't, you don't have to fight about it. Um, you also have the all-weather package, which is the heated front seats, the um, heated side mirrors, and the windshield wiper de-icer. One of the things that I really like about the Legacy, it's probably my favorite thing, is the room. There is a lot of passenger room in the Legacy and also in the trunk is really nice. Um, also, um, one of the differences with the Sport model, so the Sport model does have cloth, cloth seats, but as you can see in the Limited, you have the wood grain pattern. In the base and the Premium, it's actually a brushed nickel, a silver, but in the Sport, it's a carbon fiber, so it's very sporty looking. The Sports also come standard with moonroof, which is nice, auto dimming mirrors. Um, so let's go ahead and start this one so we can take some look at some of the things. Alright, I'm going to turn my alarm off. So one of the major things about Subaru that most people know is the symmetrical all-wheel drive. So that means you have power going to all four wheels at all times. The Legacy also still a top IIHS safety pick. All right, so this one has the navigation system, which is really nice. It also has the Harman Kardon upgraded stereo system. I'm a stereo fan. You've got hill assist over here, so your car doesn't roll back on a hill if you're stopping, going, anything like that. Also, in all the models is you have auxiliary USB ports, extra little 12 volt power outlet for more cell phones. All right. 
So I hope that gives you a really basic but really educational view about the differences with the 14s, 13s, 12s, and things like that. There's a lot more information I could go on forever, but um, you will have the option to email me anytime. My email address is right below, or you can call me anytime too. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you soon.